In a continuation of one of the biggest mysteries of the Miami Dolphins' summer, three weeks have now passed since new wide receiver Will Fuller has practiced. All Brian Flores said at Falcons Dolphins camp practices about Fuller, who was held out again Thursday, is, he's getting closer to returning. Yet, he wouldn't reveal what exactly is wrong with him. Whatever Fuller is dealing with, it doesn't sound particularly alarming. When could Will Fuller return from injury? We're told there is no concern that the former Houston Texans wide receiver will be unavailable for the regular season, which for Fuller will begin in week two. He is suspended for the opener for violating the NFL's policy on performance-enhancing drugs. Before then, however, the Dolphins would surely prefer Fuller getting a few practices in with quarterback Tua Tungavailoa, who has been throwing to a depleted group of weapons during this week's joint practices with the Atlanta Falcons. Fuller, Albert Wilson, and Devontae Parker are all sidelined with undisclosed issues. Making matters worse, Lynn Bowden Jr. left practice with assistance after suffering a leg injury while leaping for a catch. Not all is negative for Miami the Dolphins did get some good injury news Thursday. Third-year wide receiver Preston Williams came off the physically unable to perform list Wednesday and went through individual drills for the first time since suffering a season-ending foot injury last November. Williams spoke to reporters afterward and was determined to set the record straight about one important detail the injury did not stem from teammate Christian Wilkins crashing into him while celebrating a touchdown against the Cardinals. Rather, Williams landed awkwardly while making the catch and heard a pop. Christian celebrating, that's what we do every game, Williams said. That had nothing to do with it. I hate that people are saying that. One more related note Mac Hollins is making a strong case to stick after a series of impressive practices. Due to the general fragility of the unit, don't be surprised if the Dolphins keep six or even seven wide receivers to start the season. Miami's coaching staff confident in OT Austin Jackson. The Dolphins' offensive line had a shaky preseason debut, and much of the criticism was directed at second-year left tackle Austin Jackson. Jackson committed a holding penalty, got little push in the run game, and was easily moved in pass protection. That, combined with an uneven rookie season and the team's decision to trade for left tackle Greg Little this week, has led some to wonder if the Dolphins were wrong to take Jackson 18th overall in 2020. But those doubts are external, not internal. Instead, we hear the Dolphins coaching staff is very bullish on Jackson and believe he will continue to improve ahead of week one. He proved that faith with a strong practice Thursday, with one play standing out, he pancaked Dante Fowler Jr. in one-on-one -on -one drills. It'll be interesting to see what Jackson can do once there's some continuity on the offensive line. The Dolphins have been mixing and matching all camp, with Solomon Kindley getting reps at left guard Thursday. Whoever's in there, making sure we're on the same page is essential, Jackson said. Playing fast, it's a little bit of a challenge. I don't think it's too difficult. I think it betters me. Dolphins, Falcons have finished camp practices with no fights. The Dolphins and Falcons got through two very hot, very long practices with no fights. That stands in stark contrast to what happened in LA Thursday when the Rams-Raiders joint practice ended early after two brawls.